Just one more time. Please properly introduce yourself. Let us know whereabouts in the world you are and uh, plug or promote anything you'd like. All right. Um, you know, I'm a uh, blind mind. As, as you know, I'm a hard of hearing rapper. Um, I uh, had lost my hearing since I was uh, 15, months, 15 months old as a, a baby. Um, I, uh, which most people don't know what a spinal meningitis is. It's actually... Uh, you know, you, you have like a, a disease from your spinal cord, your brain. And uh, I named myself Blight Mind only because blight actually means uh, disease in a form of plant. And when you have, uh, you know, your mind as a life itself, and that's why I came up with this logo, is because blight is inside the mind. And, you know, you we all as people have uh, a disease in our mind. Fascinating. I didn't realize there was that much thought into uh, your MC name. When did you when did you start rapping though? Um, I started rapping about probably I want to say about five years ago. Five years ago, what? I've always been into music. Actually, I've always just uh, I dug into music since I was like ten years old. So, why five years ago? What what occurred that made you just want to pick up a mic? Um, I think it's just mainly because, uh, you know, I saw my brother playing guitar when I was a really young kid. And I was like, oh, that's really cool. But then over the years as it picked up, I just developed this big love for music. And I was so passionate about it because it's like I look at, you know, my hard of hearing disability that I was like, you know, I wanted to show people that I can do this regardless, you know, of my disability. That's awesome. And that's what made me wanted to do this. And I always have something to write about. I always have something to tell people, you know, I deal with this and this is my story. And I want to tell people about what I deal with. I think that's awesome. I think that deserves a hell yeah, for sure. Yeah, hell yeah. Sure. <laughs> How did you, uh, you and Edjos do a lot of music together. Um, I believe you actually come from the Stay True Music family tree, if I'm correct. But uh, how did you first meet Edjo? Um, this is really weird because, uh, he had actually, uh, the same guy that shot my music video and, you know, I kind of contacted him. I said, Hey, uh, you know, I, I really enjoyed your, your song tiptoe. And I was like, Oh, that was, that was really bouncy track. And, you know, I kind of just was like, Hey, I'd like to collab with you someday, you know, eventually at some point. So we ended up talking and we were you were disgusting about like everything I told him that, you know, I've had this disability. And, and then when I showed him my song, finding myself, he was like, wow, that was actually a really good track. I really loved that track. And that's how we started to like connect. And he told me that he has a form of autism. And I was like, wow, bro, let's do something. And that's what made the song that you have right now is overcome. And that, it's basically about that whole point of view of oh, yeah. overcoming something. I want to start with this one as the first one we're going to play. Um, let's get it started. Overcome, which, right. by the way, you have to be a Lost fan to have, come up with a video like this. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, because like that's such a great show. But it's one of the best ever made. Show. I hated the last episode when I finally understood what was happening. I hated that episode, but I've still watched the whole series like four times. It's, it's that good. <laughs> Such an epic intro. Oh, I know. It was it was one of the best moments of my life just doing this part. Like, Where is this shot at? Crazy time. Oh, uh, this was actually shot in Lake Ontario. And okay. That day, I tell you what, when I when I acted this part out, I was so cold when I got out of that water. It was <laughs> freezing. <laughs> all for the all for the scene and the shot though. Who's a who's another uh like I don't want to say unknown rapper, but not a household name that you want to collab with next? Um, I actually started talking to this uh, female uh, singer actually, 
and she is actually from uh, Tennessee, and she's actually very talented, and she has a lot of potential. And I was like, she actually came to me, and she heard my music, and she was like, hey, let's collab. And I was like, I am so down for it, because that that potential you have for your vocal is just so precise. Would you ever would you ever consider collabing with someone outside of hip hop like like a rocker or or like having like an EDM section in a song like featuring a DJ or something would you ever go outside the box Well I I am very versatile because I uh my brother and my other brother and my brother's best friend we actually had a band together and we actually had done like metal and we were into metal and we we done a lot of that so I actually played keyboards and everything so you played keyboard in a metal band yep I that's sure awesome did. what was the name of the band uh we actually had a uh question the day but it ends up someone messaged us about us and then they were like oh we already had this name so we ended up changing it to hope for the best because no matter what in life you always gotta hope for the best there you go um why did you write the song let go um, this song was actually, uh, written probably about a year and a half ago. And this was actually during, uh, the time during like personal things I was going through with my, my own father. And, you know, I've, I've dealt with, you know, narcissist people and my father was one of them. And sadly, you know, this came out to it sounded like more of a a, a, a break breakup song but in in some terms I made it to where it did sound like that but it was intentionally supposed to be like I'm, I'm trying to let go of certain things that triggered me or made me feel a certain way and that's why let go came up to be like no matter what anything in this life is very temporary that I had to take that moment and you're there's going to be a time where you're going to have to let go i can dig it it's a good explanation do you use the same director for all for every video or do you kind of jump around with who you work with um you'll be surprised actually edjo actually shot this he shot me. this one yes he actually did he shot this for me Hell I yeah. said, "Hey, bro, let's 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 get together." And then he, I just taught him how to use my camera. I actually have my camera right here. I actually showed him how to use my camera, and I guided him through, and he caught on quickly. And you know, I have a gimbal and everything, and I showed him how to do it. And we ended up doing this at uh, um, the the guitarist of uh, Promises on Said's house. So we. Oh, cool! Is that uh, yeah. Jaden? Yeah, Jaden. Okay. Uh, Chad's asking, do you shot one of Edge's videos too, right? Um, yeah, I actually just shot one for him recently. Um, he does have a single called uh, Death Note coming. And uh, I'm actually working on that right now. Um, it actually came along pretty well. He kind of was, you know, having a little bit of doubt about it. But, you know, I think in music, I feel like in regards we just feel like we are like having doubt in any circumstance of music because that's what makes us strive to push to do better definitely yeah. all right it's time to have some fun it's time to have some fun pedro um first are you down to review some bands with me it could be any artist any genre from anywhere and are you down to do some trivia oh, oh yeah i'm 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 down to react to any of them because i i love to hear music it's one of my things I love doing, so. Excellent. Excellent. Of course. What? First, regarding trivia, though, give me a second to look up something, because my job is to try and stump you. Uh, what would you say is your strongest knowledge in film or television? You know more about any more about this movie or movie franchise or TV show than any other thing. You're not going to get this question wrong if I ask you something about it. Ask me that question one more time, because I kind of like... <laughs> So, like, to example, like, you know more about Star Wars, Harry Potter, Simpsons, uh, American Dad, literally anything, Dexter, Breaking Bad. What what have you seen, like, every episode of, so you, you know you know a lot of knowledge about this topic? Um, I would say probably, uh, 
Lord of the Rings. I really enjoy Lord of the Rings. Lord That's of the Rings. One of one. Yeah. Okay, cool. Give me a second to look up some trivia for you. And uh, let's go ahead and throw on, I believe this is Dead in the Water. With, uh, right. with Disclaimer. Here we go. That's kind of cool. That's not too bad. Dead yeah, in the it's Water. Not bad at all. I like, it's yeah. kind of a different style of beat, too. Um, your question, by the way, is going to be about the two towers. Specifically, Lord of the Rings, the two towers. Here we go. Two towers. Oh, yeah, that's, that's always the best. <laughs> when Frodo asked Sam what they had left to eat, what was the only food that they had left? They had uh, bread, actually. What kind of bread? <laughs> what was the name of the bread? bread? Oh man! Now, now you're really getting really deep with this one. Uh, I'll get. I'll still give it to you, but I just want to see if we can get it. It starts with an L. Oh man, jeez. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen Lord of the Rings, but that's always been my favorite. So, Lem oh, Lemba's uh, Lemba's bread, but I'm still gonna give it to you because it was bread. But yeah, yes, yes. <laughs> Mac, this one was for you. I forgot to take the shot. I'm sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and throw in. Lemba's bread. I wonder what that tastes like. Let's go ahead and throw in, uh, let's throw in set it. Let's do SOS today. Hey, speaking of Nick Miller, he, uh, their tour starts in like 10 days, 10 or 11 days, I think. Um, they start, they play Swan Fest first, uh, which is kind of oh. cool. I was talking about Skylet Drive. Uh, that actually gave me like more of like Avenged Sevenfold vibes for sure. A little bit. Maybe on some yeah. of the chuggy stuff. Speaking of that, Pedro, do you consume the cannabis? What's up? Are you a cannabis user? Um, Sadly, I'm not. I'm actually a very straight, straight edge person, but I respect people that use it. So I'm not like anything against it. Like It's, it's cool. It's not I for everybody. Like that's it. Well, I think about it and I'm like, well, it's grown. So it's like, there's nothing wrong with it. Like, that's cool. It's not for everybody. No worries. Just curious. What do you do in your spare time when you're not when you're not filming stuff or, or working on music? What do you and let's just say also not hanging out with your with your kids or uh, your kid? What do you do on the side just for for spare fun, spare time fun? Um. Well, I actually on my spare time I actually uh, I'm a very athletic person. I like to go in the gym and I like to work out and I like to feel good about how I feel and how I look and, you know, cause I, I've dealt with a lot of self-esteem issues at, at some point and I kind of just got into it and it's just always been a thing for me just growing up, just working out. So, uh, I do that, but I also, you know, I, I work on music like all the time. Like I can be on the way to work, you know, just focusing on like writing good lyrics on the way to work, just thinking it in my head, just kind of freestyling it and just jotting it down. And then as soon as I get to work, you know, I just kind of just write it out. And, you know, I always have certain ideas that I have, like certain topics and whatnot. And I just try to put it down. So. Hell yeah. Do you, are you a gamer at all? Do you play any video games? Um, I, I do play video games, but I really haven't played a lot like I used to, I actually do play a lot of uh, Call of Duties with like my buddies and everything. I, I play Call of Duty. Call of Duty um, Mobile? Call of Duty Mobile? No, I used to. I used to do Call of Duty Mobile, but I uh, I actually do a lot of uh, Xbox One, really. So that's not too bad. I mean, Damn it. nobody even plays Call of Duty Mobile, man. It's my favorite. <laughs> I ask people that all the time, and no one's no one's like, "Oh yeah, I play Call of Duty Mobile too." Let's let's at each other, bro. Never ever happens. Uh, let's jam a couple well, more. It's funny because I've always I've always you know I've always been into Call of Duty, but I actually played Call of Duty Mobile, which wasn't too bad though, really. But I'm probably <laughs> probably every day two to three hours for two and a half years Call of Duty Mobile. Really? Every day. That's some real dedication it's, right there. <laughs> I, well, that's like the only game I stream on on local game Smokeout, which is like a side page uh, that I stream on Facebook. And I don't do it very often, 
But that's the only game I play over there. It's just Call of Duty Mobile nonstop. It's my fave. Dead in another dimension. We got time for me to ask you one more trivia question, see if we can get you a prize or something, and then we'll play one more song of yours, Blight. But I want you to pick something in your catalog that we absolutely have to hear that we've never heard before. I'll give you a second to think about it. Dead in another dimension. We'll play. Like the production's pretty good, but it almost seems like the vocals were not done in the same location as the instruments. Like the instruments sound a little bit better than the vocals do. The vocals are like a little bit too low and not in your face enough, I guess you'd say. Yeah, I feel like it needs to be more in the face. I feel like that would stick out more as in a song for sure. Like it's don't get me wrong, it's such that's a good song for sure. Like Bam. What is one song in your catalog that we absolutely have to hear of anything you've ever done? Uh, let's see. I want to say... This one doesn't um, sound familiar. I don't think I've ever heard this one. Coaching the Game. This one's actually the first song I ever put out on Spotify. And this was actually written back in 2018. And... Uh, Basically, this was actually about, uh, you know, a relationship between, you know, me and another girl and how everything went. And, you know, you know, the, the, the whole after aftermath of the relationship that it's just like, you know, you, you feel like you were let down. And that's where I said coaching the game, because, like, I'm going to show you exactly what your medicine is. So. Let's check it out. Coach in the game, the first track he ever put out on Spotify. I've never heard it. Yo, this one's really good, man. I can't forget about that one. Can't be sleeping on that one. It's a banger. <laughs> oh yeah, like that. That was just like one of my first songs that I released on, you know, Spotify and Apple Music and everything. It's and, cool. Uh, that was a that was a very personal song for me, honestly. But uh, you know, I look back on it, on it and I think about you know the way of my the way that I literatured it and the way that I did it, I kind of look at it as it was like something that was silly in, in the moment for me, but it was naive. But at the same time, I look at it and I'm like, if people really appreciate the lyrics, then I appreciate it as well. I can dig that. Uh, let's try and stump you one more time because we were not successful the first time. Still regarding Lord of the Rings and the Two Towers. <laughs> what thing from the Shire do Mary and Pippin find at Isengard? Repeat that question one more time. What thing, like what object from the Shire do Mary and Pippin find at Isengard? Oh, yeah, she's. I'm going to be very unsuccessful again because it's been so long since I've seen Lord of the Rings. I saw that. Oh, man. Uh I stumped up chat. If you know it, let us know. Uh, Blight, let's go ahead and jam one more, one more artist. Let's try. Uh, let's try this right here. It's kind of cool. It's not at all what I expected. I never heard that band. Yeah, I never heard of that before either. It's kind of cool. Uh, the yeah. answer. It's a different, different style. It's very unique. So. The the answer was uh, that. The item that from the Shire that Mary and Pippin find is the long bottom leaf. It's in a storage building after oh, the flooding. Oh. They each had one barrel to themselves. That's all it says. I don't know. Yeah. But um, Pedro, I appreciate your brother hanging out with me for a little while. And uh, we get to jam your music, talk, talk some tunes, get some more knowledge about you. You're a really cool cat, man. We've been buddies for a little while. Uh, what, what do you, two final questions. What do you have coming up the rest of 2022? What can we expect as far as maybe uh, some more music coming out, some more videos? What do you got lined up? Um, I actually do have more music coming, actually. I actually uh, am shooting a music video for a new song of mine. It's called uh, You Won't Take It From Me. And basically the song it's about is like talking about like in reality of like, you know, the nine to five job that we all live in society and how we all have a dream and it's something that, you know, we're not going to allow all these little things just take this away from our dream. And we all need to have dreams because this is where our hope is. So. My final question for you is what is, I ask, I ask everybody this, what is a piece of advice 
that you can tell us that somebody has told you in your career that has significantly impacted your music career or maybe a mistake you made that you don't want others to make? Well, that's a very good question. I am going to say that uh, regardless of anything or any situation, I'd say that if you have a disability or anything like that, don't let that be a challenge for you. It will be a challenge, but don't let it be your challenge. Be better than what they tell you in the way that you perceive yourself. AKA overcome. Yeah, That's what I'm hearing. Yep. Pedro, I appreciate your brother. Enjoy the rest of your day. Ladies and gentlemen, blow your mind. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> Thank you, man. Thank you. We'll see you. Have a great day.